We are all very excited of how CRISPR is going to cure many genetic diseases. But now, scientists have found something that could be even bigger and better. So, since the discovery of CRISPR, just to remind everyone, CRISPR-Cas protein, they originally come from bacteria and, ba it's, and they are part of the bacterial immune system against viruses. Scientists have been using these bacterial proteins in human cells to modify the genome to, to try to cure different genetic diseases. And so far they've been very successful, but there are some technical limitations. What scientists always thought, it was, okay, we found these CRISPR proteins in bacteria, what about eukaryotic cells? So eukaryotes include fungi, plants, or animals. The question was, if we are able to find similar proteins in human cells, will we be able to auto or auto modify our own genome just using very little tools without the need of delivering the whole CRISPR proteins to the human cells. And recently, scientists find out that this is true. There are these protein-like, CRISPR protein-like in eukaryotic cells. It was published yesterday, 28th of June of 2023, in the journal Nature, by the group of Feng Chan from MIT, FANSER is a eukaryotic programmable RNA-guided endonuclease. So endonuclease is a protein that can cut the DNA. And what they hypothesize is that these FANSER proteins might have had the same ancestor than the Cas proteins. What did that mean? That in a millions of millions of years ago, organisms before they divided between bacteria and fungi and animal cells they were only one just say ancestral organism and this one and, and this protein was was in the existed in that time and then during evolution some evolved into bacteria into crispr proteins and they believe these proteins evolved to become this fans of proteins now present in eukaryotes and in this publication, they characterize some that are widely present in some fungi. For example, in the Spicillomyces punctatus. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And what is interesting is that this group of Feng Shang, they, let's put it here. What is interesting is that this group submitted their publication the 23 of March and it was accepted the 20th of June. But this is a accelerated article preview. That means it's not even ready for publication, it's not finished the review. But the reason they wanted to publish so fast and without proper editing and checking everything is because, da da da, some other people was also had the same discovery. This is not yet publishing any journal, this is a in bioarchive, so it's a preprint, but it is on from Omar Abdullahi and Jonathan Gutenberg. So for those CRISPR nerds, these two were part of, were alumni from Feng Chang's lab. So now, I hope this is a friendly competition, but who knows, uh, they decided to just put this in the preprint. Um, this was um, June 14th of 2023. And I guess, because they saw this, the Feng Chang group decided to accelerate as quick as possible and nature as well to be able to be the first one to officially publish this discovery as they also claim to found programmable RNA guided endonuclease in eukaryotes. Just to show a little bit of the data, just to be very quick, um, the FANSOR proteins and the omega system, which is basically the how how this whole thing works, similar to these CRISPR RNAs, for those that are familiar with CRISPR, can be harnessed to be an RNA-guided DNA cleavage in the genome of human cells. So basically, they use these proteins and they express them with the plasmid in human cells, in HEC293 um, cells, which is a common cell line used in many laboratories, and they wanted to see if this protein will have similar effects like CRISPR of cutting in precise locations. So they tested this in, in human cells 
and they target to different genes, the B2M, CXCR4, CA2, KRAS, just some random genes they wanted to test, and these are the results. What they found, so the filler fans or protein from different organisms was were able to very elegantly and precisely, according to them, create indels. Indels are either insertions or deletions. So basically when you cut the DNA, the DNA is repaired and you might actually delete a part of the genome or insert a random piece to, to be able to repair this, this cut. And this is what they measure in the genome. And they found that in all these genes that they were targeting with the different um, fans or proteins, they were able to create this indel, so they were successful. And this is really big, because before they were using only this CRISPR protein from bacteria, but now we're using these fancy proteins, in this case from fungi, to also modify the genome, in this case creating indels, which will open the possibility of many other applications. And the question is, the question is if these have the potential to be used for genome editing tools for clinical purposes in the future. As the, this paper was published, also an article was published in MIT News, and they are also explaining about this work from the group of Frank Chang and the group from Jonathan Gutenberg, and this is just the beginning because if they found this fans or protein, as Feng Chang is thinking, and probably many other scientists, there are probably more RNA programmable systems out there, and we are continuing to explore and we hopefully discover more. That means that there are some chances or high chances that we could find some similar proteins in mammalian cells with a similar system and maybe in human cells that we, were, that we would be able to use as we want to modify the genome. This is true, this would be very very big because it will reduce theoretically the technicality of using CRISPR to modify the genome by using your own Protein, endogenous proteins, maybe could be used to cure multiple diseases. This is just starting and this is very exciting. Of course, this comes with a lot of big responsibility and a lot of research needs to be done. This is the future. If you're interested in learning more about this exciting news in science, in genetic engineer, in the CRISPR world, um, on physiology and how to improve yourself, then subscribe and please let me some comments to think what do you think? Do you think this is the beginning from bigger discoveries? We would be able to modify our genomes and cure genetic diseases and maybe make us live longer and stronger and healthier life in the future using CRISPR, FANSOR or whatever comes next. So yeah, who knows? So please subscribe, please comment and thank you very much for listening. Ciao, ciao.